In Greek mythology, Pan is a deity associated with nature, is a half-human, half-goat. He is usually depicted with the legs of a goat, horns and carrying a pan pipe. Pan is considered to be one of the oldest of Greek gods. He is associated with nature, wooded areas and pasturelands, from which his name is derived. Pan ruled over shepherds, hunters and rustic music. He was the patron god of Arcadia. He was often in the company of the wood nymphs, and other deities of the forest. Pan parentage is a bit ambiguous, but according to most sources, he was the son of Hermes and a dryad, or Penelope of Mantinea. Pan was born a mature child in Arcadia, his distinct appearance, half-goat, half-man, delighted the hearts of all gods, which is why they named him Pan. The god spent most of his days wandering the forests, playing haunting melodies on his pipes, chasing nymphs. For most of the time, he loved naps, even more than he loved his nymphs, which explains why the ancient Greeks believed it was fairly dangerous to disturb them. Like Olympian gods, Pan possessed enormous strength. He could also run for long periods of time, and impenetrable to injury. He could transform objects into different forms, and was able to teleport himself from Earth to Mount Olympus, and back. Pan was the inventor of a musical instrument called the panpipes or syrinx, which he learned to play so well that, he even ended up challenging Apollo himself to a musical contest, unsurprisingly, he lost. The mythological stories involving Pan usually involve his romantic interest in a lovely goddess, who gets turned into an inanimate object, to escape him from his ugly appearance. One story concerns Syrinx, a beautiful nymph was a follower of Artemis, which means that she valued her chastity above all things in life. Once Syrinx reached the river Laden, she realized that she could go no further, so she started praying to the river nymphs to save her. They transformed her into a bunch of marsh reeds, the very moment Pan spread his hands to grab her. Once he realized that, he was embracing shrubs instead of a nymph's body, Pan sighed with disappointment. To his amazement, the winds blow through the reeds, they make a gentle musical sound off a beautiful melody. Pan cut the marsh reeds into a different length, and joined them. Thus, the god created the first set of Pan pipes, which in remembrance of his lost love, he chose to name Syrinx. Some Arcadian shepherds still play the very same instrument. Syrinx wasn't the only nymph he tried pursuing. When it came to women, he was just too odd and unattractive to be loved back by them. Other female figures who aroused the affections of Pan were, the nymphs, Echo and Pities and also Selene, the personification of the moon. Finally, in some myths, Pan also had amorous intentions towards the goddess Aphrodite. Like the other gods of ancient Greece, Pan embodies many of the qualities of the world over which he ruled. He is depicted as energetic, sometimes frightening with the wild, creative force of nature, that makes him an interesting and often entertaining character. Along with Artemis, he was also held in high esteem by hunters, and his realm was seen as that of small game such as wild birds. Pan was particularly associated with Delphi and Athens, where a cult to the god was established, which included goat sacrifices and torch races.